first time that I realized that I was having some type of a heart problem uh, was back in 1997, and I was uh, at Oklahoma State. I was working, I was in personnel with the uh, uh, Philadelphia Eagles uh, football team, and I was down at uh, Oklahoma State to see a football game, and I was, I've always done work, walk, ran, so forth, and I was doing my exercise there in the hotel room, and as I'm doing my push-ups, I notice I'm continually having, you know, the shortness of breath. And, and I said, whoa, what's going on here, you know? And then my dad had died of a heart attack, and my oldest sister, and, and, and my uh, fourth sister, the youngest sister also. And, and that, that's when I was diagnosed that I had uh, congestive heart you know, problems. I had blockage. So in uh, January 203, uh, I had a stent put in there. I'm also type 2 diabetic, high blood pressure, arthritis, I got it all, you know. So I said, hey, I'm, I'm going to have to continue working out. I might as well just do it here. So I just keep coming, you know, on a regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And we work an hour, hour and a half. And, you know, but I, I just like the atmosphere here at Charlton Methodist. And they just do a real good job of, um, just I just watch the way they handle people, deal with people, and I'm taken by that because I, I just think that my whole philosophy uh, on that is that there's nothing more important than people. You know, I think that's the most important thing in all this green earth, as my mom would say, is people. And I watch the way they do things with people. I'm just very thankful and grateful. And, that's why I, if I see people here that I can encourage to keep working and so forth. And, you know, and I tell them all the time, just because you graduate, you know, we had a little hand clap thing. You still need to keep coming back. This is the best way to do it. I, I just enjoy the people here and, and I'm very happy with it. And so that's what we do.